Hi, it's Mark from Remarkable Speaking. I'm here with Iyad Saloum of InSync Physio in North Burnaby. He's the partner, he's the clinical director, and we're going to talk about something that causes vertigo and dizziness for people that's a little bit different. How are you doing, Iyad? Good, Mark. How are you today? Good. So awesome. big words, vestibular neuritis and labyrinthitis. What is this stuff? Yeah. So the vestibular organ is kind of like an accelerometer in our inner ear. And what it does is it helps our brain figure out what our head's doing in space. So whenever we move our head, we get signals that go from the left ear and the right ear to our brain. And this is really important for us to maintain our balance. So the vestibular neuritis condition is when we get, usually we think it happens after a viral infection is this inflammation and swelling of the nerve. That swelling is pretty bad because it exerts just physical pressure too on some of those cells. And you can actually get a bit of loss in function in those things. And then the labyrinthitis is, think of it as the bony house of the vestibular organ, which is attached to our hearing organ. So you can get an inflammation of that whole thing. And it's the same idea, like you have an inflammation, swelling and pressure which can cause a disruption of those systems. And then from that, because usually it'll affect one side, it can affect both, but most commonly we see it on one side. You'll see so that people struggle with things like vertigo, dizziness. Occasionally they get hearing symptoms or ringing in the ears. Those are pretty common too. Because of that, you'll have severe disruption of balance and ability to function. So those are the symptoms. Uh, you mentioned viral things. Is that the main cause? That's what we suspect. Our best thought now is that you have a viral infection that affects those areas. And then the immune response that's associated can cause a bit of swelling in that area and inflammation of it. And that kind of can cause downstream losses of function. So if I'm feeling dizziness and vertigo and those <clears throat> sorts of things... Is it my best course of action to just come and see you or is there a better so, plan? That's a great question. Typically what we see is people have been to their physician first because there's a lot of things that can cause dizziness and vertigo and another thing. And most people, when they have it, because it happens so suddenly, might think they're having some kind of event in the brain. So think of potentially like a stroke. So we see the after effect of it. Obviously, I encourage everybody who's having unexplained symptoms like this that are not just lasting in short periods of time to consult the physician right away, just to make sure that it's just let's say, limited to the vestibular organ and not something bigger. But yes, we are able to kind of assess these. And if somebody requires more, let's say, of a workup, we will send them to their physicians when they come see us. Well, it it's, can also be caused by the medication you're on too. If you're on certain heart medications, this is a side effect. Is that right? Dizziness could be a side effect and maybe lightheadedness could be a side effect. However, some things can cause vertigo, yes, but typically we'll assess that in the history and we'll figure that out. Some medications are bad for your vestibular organ, but most of the time, the people we're talking about, it comes out of the blue. So what's your typical treatment course that you're going to put somebody on once you've diagnosed that this is what's going on? So we would start by figuring out if their symptoms are mostly dizziness or vertigo related. We could help with things called uh, gaze stability exercises to address that certain impairment. So we would figure out where is this deficit first and then put them on a regimen of exercises. In some cases, you can have somebody having BPPV on top of this. So we would also be able to figure that out, which is where you have one of the crystals being dislodged in the canals in the vestibular organ. And that could be treated with a repositioning maneuver. It doesn't happen to everybody, but it's good to do a thorough assessment. And then we would also do a set of exercises to help them desensitized to things such as I usually get people saying, whenever I tie my shoe and I come back up, I get a burst of dizziness or I feel like I'm going to fall. So those are things that we can address. And it's really functionally dependent on what they can and can't do. And that's where the program is very specific. So you'll almost never see two people with this condition get the same treatment because it affects us so, so, so differently. And it'll depend on lots of things. So for example, if you get this when you're younger, usually people don't have bad balance, like generally when they're a bit younger. So if somebody, let's say, 
in their 80s when they're already kind of struggling with balance and then like maybe vision and then a few other things. So you'll see a different treatment regimen for somebody like that. If you're having some dizziness issues, vertigo, feeling like you're falling, the guys to see in North Burnaby are InSync Physio. You can book online at InSyncPhysio.com. They have two offices. You can reach the Burnaby office at 604-298-4878 if you want to call somebody and book or in Vancouver at 604-566-9716. Thanks, Iyad. Thanks, Mark.